Wi-Fi attack techniques in the past have always been quite a bit noisy and susceptible to detection. However, there's a more recent technique that is almost completely silent, which you or your clients might be vulnerable to. Today, we'll demonstrate just how this attack works. Hi and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and ringing the bell so you don't miss any future video. Now to start with, an obvious disclaimer that this should only be performed on networks that either you own or that you are consulted, contracted to test. This video is aimed at sharing knowledge to help secure the networks of yourself and your clients, and it should not be used for any malicious activity whatsoever. This is considered illegal. Now this method works by leveraging a component that is broadcasted within many Wi-Fi networks, and this is the PMKID. This is broadcasted by many modern Wi-Fi access points, and if captured, a password hash can actually be extracted and then cracked. Unlike other methods, this does not try to force your way in or drop people's existing connection from their network. This requires very little steps to actually do, but it does require a fair amount of setup. So if you'd like to skip the setup and just see it in action, feel free to jump to that in the chapter sections below in the description. So now onto what you need. So for this exercise, you will need the following. You'll need a machine running Kali Linux, either virtualized or a host is fine. You'll need an alpha Wi-Fi adapter or something similar. Uh, the one I use is the AWUSU35NH, and this is a pretty standard in the Ethical Hackers Toolkit. And lastly, you will need a Wi-Fi access point that broadcasts WPA2 and the, also broadcasts the PMKIDs. There isn't a great way of checking if it does this, so it does require a bit of trial and error, but I'd say the majority of them should be doing this by default. So let's go into the tools and dependencies that we'll need to set this up. So we have a fair bit of setup in the virtual machine to do, uh, and this will be based off the Kali Linux 2020.4 build. First, we need to install the Wi-Fi drivers for our alpha, as these may not already be installed. We do this with the apt install firmware Raylink wireless tools. All these commands will be in the description. Next, we need to install three dependencies for the HCX tools that we'll be using. First, this is lib ssl-dev, then we have package config pgk-config, and then lib for curl open ssl1-dev. This will, all these again, will be in the description. Now we need to install HCX tools, which will do most of the work for us. This is divided into two separate Git repos. First, we have HCX tools and we have HCX dump tool. First, we clone it from Git. So go, so browse to a folder where you want to install it. Go kit, git clone and then this URL. Then CD into that directory once it's cloned and then do the make command followed by make install. This will compile the application and then install it to your Kali Linux virtual machine. We then do the same for the HCX dump tool. So we CD out of that and then install the HCX dump tool. We CD into that new directory and issue the make command followed by make install. Now you'll also need Hashcat, but this should be installed in your Kali Linux VM by default anyway. Now everything is installed, we want to check everything is working. Plug in your Wi-Fi adapter and make sure it connects to your VM as a guest and not a host. Then type if config to see if your adapter is there. This should be called WLAN0 or WLAN1. Make sure that you're using the correct Wi-Fi adapter if you have multiple installed on your machine. Now all your prerequisites should be complete and we're ready to get started. So now onto the attack, and this is, attack is quite simple and can be broken down into three main steps. First, we need the Wi-Fi adapter to be set to monitor mode. Then we tell the Wi-Fi adapter to capture all the Wi-Fi signals around us 
and actually save that to a file. Then we convert the file into a file that's compatible with Hashcat, which will be the password cracking uh, tool that we'll use in this demonstration. Step one, setting the adapter to monitor mode. Okay, so let's get started. We'll start by setting our adapter into monitor mode with amon-ng space start space wlan0. Keep in mind wlan0 is my device and it may be named something else on your machine. Be sure to check with ifconfig. Now, after we've run that command, if we do ifconfig again, we can see the adapter is now named wlan0 mon. Step two, capturing. Now our adapter is configured correctly, we need to get it to capture all the Wi-Fi signals around it and store them into a file. We do this with the hcx dump tool with the following command. hcx dump tool dash i wlan 0 mon, which is our interface, dash o test one dot pcap ng, which is our output file, then dash dash enable status equals one, which will just display a verbose message to the screen so we can see what happens. Now we can leave this for about five to 10 minutes. Step three, converting and cracking. I like to keep this running in the background just in case, and I set up a new tab, and this is what I'll use to convert the file. This time we do hcx pcap ng tool with the following command hcxpcapng tool dash o being our output of test1.txt and then test1.pcapng which is our input file which was all the packets that we just captured. Now we need to tidy up this output file with a text editor and remove the networks that don't belong to us. First we need to find the network that belongs to us and remove all the others. We do this by getting the last block between the two stars and converting that from ASCII hex to plain text. You can do this in the command line, but I find it quicker just using a web tool. Once we have our target network name, we remove all the other lines from this file and we also tidy it up by removing the star 01 star WPA star from the start and triple star from the end of your line. Now we're ready to crack the password hash using Hashcat. You can do this on your Windows host if you prefer and if you want it to run quicker, but to keep things simple, we'll just do it here on Kali. Our command is hashcat-m16800, which is a hash type, test1.txt, which is our input file, and we also give it the rocku word list. The other options are just there to configure how Hashcat runs on your machine. If you don't know, just copy these for yourself. You can also set up Hashcat to do a pure brute force attack or use rules if you prefer. Just consult the Hashcat documentation to do so. This might take a while depending on your hash rate, but after a while we can see the password hash has been cracked. In our case, it's I love Sydney, which is true. Firstly, I will just disconnect this Wi-Fi adapter from my virtual machine as I don't have another Wi-Fi adapter on this machine. Next, I'll go into the standard Windows networking dialog and connect to the network. We type in the password I love Sydney and we're good to go. So how can we mitigate this attack? Well, fortunately, it is pretty simple and kind of an obvious fix. First, we need to use strong passwords that aren't susceptible to dictionary attacks or a considerable amount of brute forcing. Also, if your router supports it, we may be able to disable the broadcast of the PMKIDs, and this is usually done by disabling the 802.11R protocol within the access points firmware. So wrapping up, we can see that this attack is relatively simple and while it may be complicated the first time you go through this process, especially with the setup, it does become quite an effortless attack and one that you can use on your pen test engagements. Of course, if you have permission. Anyway, if you found this video helpful, be sure to leave it a like as it helps people like you find content like this. So how did you go with this technique? Are you having trouble? Be sure to let me know in the comments below and we may be able to see if we can sort things out. Also, if you had any success with it, let me know as well. Anyways, I've been Jason from JasonSec. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.